With Apex Plus and GigaPlus 3.0 firmware later, you can use the loopback auto function to test the OMU or IDU for normal operation. I'll go ahead and log into the uh, web interface here. Username admin, password Trango. The loopback function can be used for diagnosing poor link conditions to rule out or identify if there's a defective IDU or OMU. This test is typically only run at the request of technical support and would not normally be used during normal uh, during installation or to troubleshoot alignment or low RSSI issues. Now, in this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, log into both sides of the link, so you can, I can show you in a minute here the, the difference between the two of them as I'm running this test. So, in my in my radio, whether this is the far side or the near side, uh, in my case, I have access to both of them, but um, you could run the test the same either way. So. I'm going to log in the web interface and then go ahead and go to the config node. Username is config with password Trango, all lowercase, to get into the, the config node part of the web interface. Under the diagnostics section, uh, go into the loopback auto and go ahead and type in uh, 10 and hit submit. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Now you'll notice this pops up a thing that's here that says set auto loopback will break the link. Do you really want to perform auto loopback? And understand that this will break the link. Go ahead and click OK. The software will now turn your ODU power off and try to eliminate the signal coming in from the other side of the link. Best practice, when possible, would be to disable the transmitter on the opposite side to completely eliminate the signal from interfering with the test. But under most conditions, turning off the ODU will reduce the signal enough to give us an accurate test. If you still have management access, you'll notice the active link and uh, remote link indicators have both now gone gray, these indicators up here at the top. That indicates that the ODU has been powered off. On the opposite side of the link, if I switch over to it, you'll notice that I have a red link indication and I have no RSSI coming in. As part of the loopback auto process, Ethernet data ports will be shut off uh, during the test. When loopback is activated, the signal is actually looped inside the IDU or OMU to any Ethernet or T1 traffic coming in will be looped back out the same port. Since this can cause numerous problems in an Ethernet network, the data ports are shut off for the test. If testing manually, you'll need to ensure that data ports are disconnected or disabled before enabling loopback. If you're using IBM, that's in-band management, Auto loopback will allow loopback tests to be run without having to switch to out-of-band management. Note that it's possible to control the number of iterations and use a number other than 10 in the entry field. A number as small as 1 may be entered here for a quick test, or a larger number like 50 may be entered for a longer test. Any integer from 1 to 99 may be used for the number of test iterations. 10 is typically a good number for most tests as it gives you enough information to detect if a longer uh, test is needed which most of the time it is not. The number of iterations controls how many times the software will run and capture link tests for each of those loopback modes. As the ODU power has been turned off and Ethernet ports disabled, it'll run loopback IF, where it loops the signal just before it would normally go out to the IF cable to the ODU. After the loopback IF test results are captured, the software will change the loopback mode to digital, which will perform a digital loopback before the signal is sent to the IF card. When the, test, when the tests are done and the results captured, the ODU power will be turned back on and the Ethernet ports will be enabled again. You'll notice that my local active link and remote link here have come green again on this side, as well as on the far side or, or the near side, whichever way it would be, they're green again now. That indicates the test is done and the radio is back up in normal operation. Because my default op mode was set to on, the link just automatically came back up. If your default op mode was off, you would need to ensure that you would turn that on before doing this uh, test for a remote radio. Now that the test is done, go ahead and click Show Results, and you'll see the results for the, uh, the test in the same window that you were in before. Primarily, you want to look at the, that the link is locked by the one indication here. And then we'll be looking at the MSE. In the IF section, the MSE should be 36 or better. Now, in this case, a number like 38, which is roughly what this is, is, is better than 36. So that's perfectly fine. It's good, normal operation.
if the MSC number was less than 36, uh, closer to zero, like 32 or 34, then we would want to compare that to the digital results down below. The digital results are typically better than 38, um, but again, we typically only use those in comparison to the IF results. You'll notice that there can be some fluctuation, which is why I like to use the number 10. You could do this with a number as low as one, and you'll just get a single instance of the IF and a single instance of the digital, which most of the time is also good enough to, to tell you if, it's, if the IDU is, has a problem or not. Um, with that, you're back to normal operation, and the loopback test is done. You typically would then send this information back on the tech support if it uh, indicated a problem or not.